What's up everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the Vangle Soul 200. But before we get into it, hit that like, smash that subscribe and let's roll that intro. So this is the Vango Soul 200 two-man tunnel tent. It cost me £50 about two years ago, and I think they're still retailing at that price. I've used this tent for quite a few different camps, wild camps, uh, camping with the scouts, some family camps at campsites, and um, it's done well. So I thought I'd give it a review. Now, it is quite an easy tent to set up. You simply just put the inside up first, and the fly sheet goes over and pegs into the ground. So let's get this set up. I'll stick it on a time lapse um, just to save uh, some time on the video, I guess. So there we have it. That took me, what, five minutes to put up? Obviously, I haven't put it uh, up tight. I haven't pegged out all the guy lines um, and I haven't pegged all the, uh, the anchor points. But it is what it is for now. Just a quick demonstration. So this is rated uh, with a 3,000 millimeter hydrostatic head uh, fly sheet, uh, which is ideal for the UK weathers and climate. This is also a good tent for backpacking because um, it only weighs 2.17 kilos, I believe. So it's not too bad um, weight-wise, but it is a bit small. So let's have a look inside, shall we? So as you can see, it's got a small vestibule area um, with no ground sheet attached to it, which isn't too much of a problem. I do personally like it when there's a ground sheet because that means my boots and uh, my bag's not going to get wet if it is raining and the ground is wet. It's not very big in the vestibule, but there is plenty of space for your bag, your boots and uh, other things you don't mind leaving outside. So let's move on to the inside, shall we? So on the inside, you don't really have a lot of headroom, um, which is a bit of a bummer, but this is a low profile tunnel tent. So you can't really expect a lot of headroom. As you can see, it's not too bright in here. The sun is still out. Um, it does have a darkened technology, but it's not perfect. You do have a pocket here for your stuff and a pocket behind me here for, uh, for more bits. You do have a little tab just up here um, for hanging a light or something in the night. In terms of space, it's not too spacious. It is advertised as a two man tent but comfortably you're only going to fit yourself in here. I haven't tried it in here with another person. I don't think I'd want to, unless we were very intimate. I do like this tent because it is lightweight. It is easy to put up and it is spacious enough for one person if, um, if you're just using it to sleep in. The reason I say just using it to sleep in is because if you're pitching up relatively early, um, you want to spend some time in your tent, do your cooking and whatnot. Uh, this tent isn't really spacious enough to do all of these things, although you can do it in the vestibule outside, but I do prefer a bigger tent. There is uh, enough room to sleep in. You're not gonna be kicking the bottom of your tent that easy as well. There are three vents on this. You've got one either side at the front, and you've got one further at the other end there in the middle. So my thoughts on this tent are, it's good. It's a good tent. Uh, it's lightweight at 2.17 kilos. It's quick and easy to put up. Only took me about five minutes to put up. Although the annoying thing is that you have to build up the inside and put the fly sheet over after. So if it is raining, you might get a bit wet, but it's never really bothered me too much. It's roomy enough for an impromptu camp but for a more luxurious camp, I do prefer my bigger tent. I will say one thing. The best part about this tent is not the tent itself. 
it's the bag it comes in. So this bag's a nice compression bag. You can just stick it all in, tie it up like that with the elastic. And it does have compression straps that clip over and tighten. So that is a brilliant bag. And I actually use this bag instead of the, uh, the bag that my, my big tent comes in because on a camp, I can just shove it all in there, pull it all together so it's nice and tight and compact and then sort it out when I get home. So that's pretty much it for the Vango Soul 200. Um, good tent, used it for two years now on many other camps and I'm still gonna keep it, but I do prefer using my big tent. So thanks for watching. Hope it gave you a bit of an idea of the size of it and a bit of my opinion on it. So um, thanks for watching. Check out the next videos and we'll see you soon.